Two commuter groups have launched a high court challenge over the government's handling of the southern rail crisis. They're accusing the Transport Secretary, Chris Grayling, of acting unlawfully by causing indirect discrimination to disabled passengers. Our political correspondent, Carl Mercer, reports. This is the easiest part of Chris Stapleton's journey to central London on southern trains. Generally, it gets a lot worse when he gets on board. I'm uh, expecting no one to be there with a ramp to let me off, even though I'm sure the staff at my starting station have phoned ahead and told the team of Victoria that I'm coming. Um, so, fingers crossed. It appears his fears aren't isolated ones. Carol Harvey was on the same train. How was Southern when it came to getting ramps for her to get off, we wondered. Absolute rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. I'm just hoping, after all the trouble that's been caused, that there is someone now to get me off Clapton Junction. That's why I asked him where he was getting off. So we'll just have to wait and see if there's anyone at Clapton Junction. Because there never is. Is it always a problem? Always a problem. Always, always, always. When you're ready. Not today, though. The ramp was there. But disability campaigners say that's too rare. They're joining a legal case against Southern and the government. What we want is for the Secretary of State to be held responsible um, and declared that he has failed to police the franchise in a proper way, and particularly around ensuring that disabled people can access the train services. That is their right to do so. Today turned out well for Chris too, the ramp ready at Victoria when he arrived. He fears though it won't be there next time. I get a tight feeling of anxiety in my stomach and it's very unpleasant, very stressful and uh, I, I don't need that. I want a, a simple smooth journey like everyone else. I want to be able to get off the train like everyone else. I don't want to go through this faff and this palaver every single time. In a statement, Southern told us... We aim to give excellent assistance and are very sorry to hear about these passengers' experiences. We regularly carry out callback surveys with disabled passengers and mystery shop so that we can look at what we can change to improve. It says only a small fraction of journeys by disabled passengers result in complaints. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.